Hello, I am Alexander from Bot City, and in this video, I will show you how to create your first Bot City's web bot, which combines computer vision with the speed and reliability of creating automations with a web drive. The web bot allows you to run in headless mode, which is great for parallel execution. You can run multiple web bots at the same time, and one will not interfere with the other. Also, you can fetch information from the website at the same time as you run a regular desktop bot. This way you can save a lot of time for your automation. This tutorial was written and voiced by Alexander Silva and reviewed by Ugo Slavka. The prerequisites for this video are to have Python version 3.7 or newer installed on your computer and also Cook Cutter which we are gonna use to download the bot cities template. Also you will need the web driver so if you want to use the Chrome Download the Chromium web driver if you want to use the Firefox, download the Gecko web driver, and so on. You can find a link for the Chromium web driver in the description below. Also, make sure you check our previous tutorial on how to set up your Python development environment, which will teach you how to install the cookie cutter and also how to use the Bot Studio and other things that can be useful if you're starting your first bot right now. This tutorial has four steps. In the first one, we will use the cookie cutter to create a new project from the bot cities template. In step two, we will configure the web driver. In step three, we will play a bit with the source code, try to do something a little bit more interesting than what is on the template bot. And finally, on step four, we will run our bot and then run it again with headless mod on to have a comparison. Step 1. Creating a web bot is very similar to creating a desktop bot. We will start by using the cookie cutter to grab the bot Python template and then we will be able to select either a desktop or a web project. In this case, of course, we're going to select the web version. The bot ID will be first web bot, project name will be first web bot and description this is our first web bot. Very good. That's it. Now in this folder you can see that the project has been created and that the project structure is very similar to that of the desktop bot. Every single file is exactly the same as you would see if you had created a desktop bot. So the only changes are within the code itself. Step 2. The web bot requires a web driver in order to work. In our case, since we're going to use Chrome, we will download the Chromium web driver from this website. I'm using Chrome version 92, so this is the right one. Now we just need to extract the web driver to the webbot folder. Done. Now we have to add the Chrome driver to our bot's source code so it will know where to look for. Since we're using the bot template, it already conveniently comes with the variables commented. So we just need to come here and add the path of our Chrome driver to it. Also, if we're using Firefox, you would have to change the browser to Firefox right here. And then, of course, you would need the Firefox browser. Step 3. Now let's make some changes to this code, okay? So I will delete some of these lines because they are related to the master integration, which we're not doing in this particular bot. So I'll delete this, I'll delete this. I'm not gonna use Firefox, so delete this line as well. And import, there we go. Now, this is what I'm gonna do. Instead of going to the botcity.dev website, I will go to botcity's YouTube channel. And once I'm there, I will extract this number. I will extract the number of subscribers in BotCity's YouTube channel. And to do that, I will use the same strategy that I used on the BotMaster integration video, where I will look for the subscribers using computer vision, and then I will perform a double click relative to grab this number. Let's open Bot Studio to help us extracting that value. I will create a new project and if you do not know how to set up and how to use the bot studio make sure to watch the first video in this series that will show you how to set up your Python development environment and the bot studio as well. First add bot in the project folder I will select the 
first webbot folder. The source code folder is the first webbot folder inside the main folder. And then the resource folder inside the source code folder. Great. So now I will open the bot.py and I will position my cursor right here. Then I will go back to the YouTube page, take a print screen, and now I can see my print screen right here. And so I will cut this image and use it as a model for uh, the robot's computer vision. I will perform a double click relative using the subscribers as an anchor. There we go. Now if I save this and go back to my pie charm, it's already there. So instead of just a click relative, I will perform a double click relative, then I will uh, copy whatever value has been selected, and then I will extract that value with the get clipboard function like this. And then I will simply ask it to print that value for us and close the browser. It's a pretty simple code, but it suffices for what I will try to show you guys. Step four. Now we're gonna run our bot to make sure everything's working as expected. As you can see, once I click run, it opens Bot City's YouTube channel and grabs the number of subscribers, print it in the console, and that's it. 178. Now what happens if I turn on the headless mode and activate the bot again? You will see that nothing happens. You won't actually see anything happening, but it prints the number of subscribers anyway. So as you can see, with headless mode, the bot is able to run in the background without even opening the browser. And it's able to do anything that you could do with headless mode off. So it's a very powerful tool because you can run multiple headless web bots at the same time and one will not interfere with the other. And also you can run a headless bot at the same time as you run desktop bots. This way you're able to, for example, get an information from a website at the same time as you start the process of filling some form inserting data into a database program. There are many things you can do and at the same time the bot is grabbing some information from a website. It's a very powerful tool for building parallel automations. And that's it for this video. If you have any doubts about the headless mode, the web bot or bot city's technology in general, make sure to leave them in the description below.